so it began on a damp but drying road with James Cottingham from pole position kicking up spray storming into the race lead on the way down towards the first corner into Old Hall swinging their way through that right hander and a good getaway by Richard Neary put him up into third behind Ian Loggy who was also quick out of the blocks drama at the end of the lap though as Morgan Tilbrook went off the road the fact that that car was able to recover for third place mighty impressive in a race of changing fortunes as Kevin Say grabbed a place away from the Neary's Mercedes coming out of Deer Lee move of the race Andrew Howard not one but two places gained on the inside going into Old Hall corner that was quite something and when the pit window opened inevitably the AMS came in first in GT3 and the tyre choice was absolutely crucial going into the remainder of the race Richard Neary's car however was not to survive for much longer because it was edged up towards the grass coming up water tower and it was a big big drama that eventually saw the car head into the gravel at Druids and triggered a safety car and Sam Neary lucky not to take anybody with him tried to dig the car out he had the momentum but as the back came round it ended up beached and Jules Grunon overtaken on the restart after the safety car by Dan Harper for which the BMW caught a penalty more battles raged on as Marcus Clatter moved himself up and past Ross Gunn that put him second but as the rain came back so the McLaren fell away once more from the Aston Martin but Johnny Adam led all the way as the battle was on for second place So out at Old Hall Corner came the Aston. And at the last corner of the last lap, Ross Gunn made his move on the outside for the race lead, but it was not to be. Couldn't quite do it. Johnny Adam and James Cottingham win round one of the Intelligent Money British GT Championship.